What is up, Packer fans? Back again. Packers won 23-20 to against the Chargers. Wow, Quentin Johnson dropped that ball. We are so lucky. But Jordan Love, over 300 yards, 322 yards. I think he was 27 to like 44, which is like 67%, which is right where he needs to be. Two touchdowns, no turnovers at all for the team. We lost Aaron Jones. I think his knee's okay, but... Uh, he's going to be out for a little bit. We signed a bunch of running backs, uh, James Robinson and uh, Patrick Taylor. So A.J. Dillon uh, is going to have to carry the load, and Emmanuel Wilson is out too. But uh, Dillon, once the weather gets cold, he's a good back. You know, he's been running tough and hard, so maybe if he gets some more carries, he can start uh, getting up there in the, the yardage category, maybe get over 100 yards. We haven't had a 100-yard rusher in a while. Uh, Jordan Love is the first uh, Packers quarterback to throw for over 300 yards since 2021. So pretty cool. So go Pack Go. Big win. Uh, guys like Jaden Reed and Dontavian Wicks played well. Romeo Dobbs, what a strong hands catch. He just yanked that over. That was really kind of robotic, but it was very, you know, very a uh, really strong catch. So, And then Christian Watson, Watson ca caught a ball for a touchdown as well. So uh, really great Packers win. The defense held up. It looked like if Quentin Johnson caught that at the end, though, the Chargers maybe go into school or at least tie it. I don't know what uh, Carrington Downtown was doing on that play, but um, he dropped it just like MVS dropped it last night. So go Pat, go. Uh, they traded the right guy, and uh, Quentin Johnson is the wrong, probably the wrong draft pick for the Chargers. They should have got Edison or um, I forgot the other receiver they could have had. But anyway, go Pat, go. Big win. And now, real quick turnaround. Now they go to Detroit Thanksgiving Day, which is coming up on Thursday. Uh, Packers Detroit. There's a few games that day, but this is the, for the Packers, I mean, playing at noon, it's a quick turnaround. They, they get to enjoy it for a little bit, and now it's on to uh, Detroit. So let's see, Detroit just had a game where they were down 12 with like four minutes to go against Chicago and came back and won it. Kind of, the score kind of got weird at the end with the safety at the very end, but uh, Detroit came back and won it in regulation, and it's, it just shows that that team's so resilient. They have playmakers. The running backs, Jameer Gibbs and uh, David Montgomery, <laughs> they're going to be tough for the Packers to handle if they play the running game what they did against the Steelers. If they play like they have been and they did against Eckler and the Chargers and, and games before that, they should be able to keep it close at least with Detroit. Detroit's, I think they're 8-2. and two. Um, They're playing really well. I know Jared Goff had three interceptions last week and the Bears still won the game. They had four turnovers combined and they still won the game. And so, you know, I'm on Ross St. Brown playing really well. Their, their young tight end, um, Laporta, he's playing great. So it's just, there's a lot of talent on this Detroit team and the Packers are going to have to figure it out at running back. Can A.J. Dillon carry the load? If Patrick Taylor has to play, can he do it? it? Will we see James Robinson in his first action in over a year? I know he hurt himself, but as a rookie, he was a 1,000-yard back for the Jaguars. So what does he have left in the take? If the Packers sign him, he must have something. And if the, the Packers' offensive line can open something up, let's see what he can do. So uh, Robinson might get out there. I know we'll see a lot of A.J. Dillon at first. Patrick Taylor is probably the, the one the Packers trust the most if they have to go to a different back other than Dillon. And then if something happens, James Robinson will be in there. So it's going to come down to Jaden Reed being running back, I guess, right? So, But he played really well. He had a touchdown. He is the first guy since Christian Watson last year to have 45 yards rushing and receiving and then and a touchdown, obviously. But a uh, really impressive game for him. He's showing he can do it all. Christian Watson did it last year, but before that it had been, I think, um, like James Lofton and then Don Hudson before that or something like that. It's been crazy history doing that and now it's been back to back so go pack go um they are doing things at with this young receiving core Jaden reed dontavian wicks i mean even romeo dobbs he's kind of showing he's the number one kind of like i predicted i thought he'd be more the number one receiver for jordan love the pass catcher i know watson's a speed guy he's got less yards than wicks musgraves i think um dobbs and uh reed so he's kind of like fourth or fifth on the receiving list which for the wide receiver one, we were hoping he'd have a better season. Um, he does have two touchdowns, but Romeo Dobbs has, I think, seven touchdowns on the season. He's gonna he's kind of projected now to have over 10 for the year, and that's super impressive for the second-year man out of Nevada. So very exciting for the Packers. This offense is starting to get going. Jordan Love, I mean, the best game he's played, of course. People are going to say, yes, yeah, it's, it's against 
the uh, the Chargers defense, um, Brandon Staley's defense, and so um, teams have had huge games against him all year, but it still shows that it's still you know still Derwin James. I know Joey Bosa went down early, but they still have players in the NFL on that Chargers defense, and he still went out there and executed. So. You don't get to choose who you play. You just have to execute. So Jordan Love did that. You can see the progress. You could see it last week. Now this week, uh, over 300 yards. So that's huge. Go Packers. I can't, I mean, I'm super excited that they're kind of in the mix. I think they're like eighth seed now for the playoffs. So obviously there's a big gap to seven. I think they're two games up, but it's still like we're still in the mix, I guess. So um, there's going to be some defense. Hopefully Jair gets back. Um I know Quay Walker was back last week, so that's awesome to see. On this short week, that we we had some injuries, but Kenny Clark, you know, saving the day at the end, fourth and I think it was like fourth and three, bats the ball down. So um, Packers just have to keep playing that they have been. I know the young secondary Corey Valentine, they're gonna make mistakes. Carrington Valentine, he's gonna make mistakes. Um, I know Rudy Ford played well, well, and he he should be. I think he was back. Otherwise, he'll be he'll be back. And then. Uh, Anthony Johnson Jr. We're seeing a lot of him, so there's just a lot of young guys on the defense. But Rashawn Gary, Preston Smith, they've been playing well, and then we saw some a lot of Lucas Van Ness, like we have been all year. And then I just like how Devondre Campbell plays. Um, this defense is really starting to play well. Another game where they held a team to 20 points or less, and you know people say what they want about Joe Barry. Herbert is a really talented quarterback. I like him a lot, and I know that. They had some drops. I know Keenan Allen dropped a few, and then he caught some. But it's still it's still a really good team win for the Packers. Chargers, I th- really think, are being held back by their coach. But they still, you know, win games and score a lot of points. Last week they only got beat by a touchdown, and they scored, I think, 31 points. So uh, this weekend held to 20 points at Lambeau. Really great. But so now on to Detroit. It's just what are the Packers going to look like? They played Detroit well last time. They they made it a game at the end, even though I think they lost by 14 at the very end. But it's still they made it, you know, they were competitive in the second half. Not so much in the first half. I think it was like out of hand in the first half. So um, let's see what they can do this time around Thanksgiving Day. The whole nation is going to watch. Jordan Love has a, it's his time to show everybody that he is the real deal. And then at running back, I know Aaron Jones. I th- really think we avoided a major injury, but we'll see what the timetable on his return is. Um, technically, he's not out. <laughs> I, I think he's questionable, so or doubtful. But um, it's it wasn't the um, wasn't the ACL like I really thought it was. I'm like that looked like it was it was over with for him. So. If A.J. Dillon can run the ball, I know it's indoors, it's on AstroTurf. This is where Rashawn Gary tore his ACL last year at Detroit. So, you know, I hope that uh, Rashawn Gary can come back this year and have an amazing game. Get a sack or two for some um, some Aaron throws and, and uh, get some turnovers on the back end. So I'm excited to see how the Packers stack up against Detroit now. You know, it's kind of weird to say, but Detroit is kind of the... Uh, one of the teams in the NFC that is feared the most, I guess you could say, at this point in the season and with the way they've been playing, how the defense have been playing. Um, Aaron Rodgers had a lot of trouble with this defense last year. Um, I know at Detroit we lost, it was tough, and then when they came to Lambeau they beat us and they, it was tough to watch as well. So, And Aaron Rodgers just didn't play well either. So we'll see how Jordan Love fares. And we'll see if this Packers defense can hold up against the run against the two-headed monster of Gibbs and Montgomery. Those two guys could both have over 100 yards um, total total yards each, you know. So uh, they both catch the ball out of the backfield, both run the ball really well. Gibbs is just a hard runner, and David Montgomery is just so consistent. I think that last time we played him, did he have over 30 carries and over 100 yards so and a couple touchdowns? So. We're going to have to stop him and it, just emphasis on stopping the run and try to get after Jared Goff, force him to make bad throws and just, you know, make sure we we intercept him on the back end or, or strip sacks or whatever we can do, get after the quarterback. Packers are on a roll here, but so are the Lions. After their big win, they're kind of flying high as well. So we'll have to come in there and, and do what we do and see if Jordan Love can, can get us a W and then we'll be really in the mix because the, the Vikings lost and I know Josh Dobbs plays well, but you know, the Packers are kind of, kind of getting in there. So go Pack go. We'll see what we can do. Thanks. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Peace.